Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. I'm here at the Dancing Dots booth with the creator Bill McCann. You guys might have seen my video I put out about Dancing Dots in the past. And mainly in that video I was talking about low vision and I didn't really touch much on the Braille side of Dancing Dots. So Bill's gonna tell us more about that. Bill, thank you very much. Okay, Sam, thank you. And so what we're gonna do here is just quickly show you how we can help people like me who are blind and use braille and speech to learn their music more quickly. So we have a very common piece up here, Honkabell's Cannon, and I can show you what we call the talking score feature. So I'm going to hit the right arrow key, which is numpad 6 as well. Beat 3, E5. And it told me on beat 3, I have E5 half. The pitch is E, fifth octave, it's a half note. E5. If I forget, I type one of these keys or I can hear the pitch again. Um, so you can go through note by note. Bar two, beat one. Not everybody reads braille music, but I do. And beat first so note what's really cool, canon and D. here on Violin. the braille display, I have the braille music. Oh, I can't sing that high this morning. <laughs> So forth. So now what I can do is have the software play that back in tempo to help my memorization. Because blind people memorize music, but the beauty of our software is you get to see everything about the score, where you get louder, softer, slow down, uh, accent, whatever. So you're not mimicking someone else, you're learning the score. So whether it's in braille or spoken word, and as Sam said, we have a corresponding low vision problem. So I'm going to just play this back in tempo for you, and I'm going to read along in my braille display. Enter the Chelbles Cannon. So I don't know if you can see this on the video, but I'm reading across, and there are, in braille music, the space between the characters is the bar line. So, and if everything's working right, after this next measure, you're gonna see the braille change. Except everything's not working right, because this is a demo. But uh, it never works. <laughs> but it does track with the music and update the, uh, update the braille as you scroll through. So you can use that as a memory aid you can play along, sing along, read along in Braille, whatever gets you to where you know the piece really well. And again, if it has an accent, a dynamic mark, a crescendo, you're going to be, that's going to be told to you in Braille and in speech. Awesome. Thanks, Bill. So where, where can people find you guys? Well, just come to dancingdots.com. The product we're showing here is, is a collection of software called Goodfield, like feel good backwards, Goodfield. And uh, you can learn all about it. There is a free trial that you can test it out for a couple weeks with no cost. And we can uh, get in touch and help you uh, walk you through it and see if it's right for you. Great. I'll have a link down in the description down below. Thanks, Bill. Fantastic. Thanks, Sam.